Hey people, this is Flatcap Orisil here with a uh, part 3 of Let's Play Gone Home. Now, where we last left off, I was having some technical issues. Uh, the fraps was kicking up a bit, or however it glitches out. And for some reason, the game kicked me out too, and uh, it was just a mess altogether. There were people knocking on my door and everything, but anyway... Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Oh my god. This, there's a room in here. Okay. I guess this is Sam's room, I'm guessing. Alright. Let's see here. A board game. Got your number. Are you going to, da to the dance with anyone? Who's got a crush on you? Three to five players, nine and up. Do you like sports? Would you introduce me to your friend? Are you busy Friday? Get so dreamy. Get your friends together. It's time to find out who has a big crush. Is it Matt from science class? Is it Daryl from track? You'll never know unless you've got his number. Huh. Boy. <gasps> yes! The King's Labyrinth. Chapter 2, Fraying Threads. Captain Allegra, still in our flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single shining thread into the lower cabin of the labyrinth. She and the first mate on their own now grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line of the, to the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island. She's gotten really good at writing. Trailed behind, leading their, ba leading their way back to the entrance from further into the labyrinth. A moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice, the hairs on Captain Allegra's arm, stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly otherworldly blue light. <sighs> the great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal and rotted robes. The, hun the, the king was hunched over. Yes, the hunched king was I was over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls as he sang. Wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock led down into the chamber from a passage at the top. Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention, and then you... But the first mate interrupted. No, I am smaller and quicker, and you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle the other side, get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, all traced by this invisible thread, of course. Allegra said, it is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is the, our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tried the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across at the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. Sorry, that was like my video uploading. The king continued his wait. No! No! The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running head first into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs. When the first mate burst through the passageway, she skidded to the top. Uh, hmm. 
No, she skidded to a stop. Even from across the yawning basin. Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran. Summoning his end dead power, the king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From dank from some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running toward the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taunt, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line. Twisting it around in her arm, she came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran. 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 That was a little dark. I want to apologize for the audio here. I forgot to turn up the bomb, the uh, microphone a bit. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> awesome! I remember these. Well, technically, I. I haven't heard about Super Nintendo until after uh, I got the GameCube. <clears throat> Chun Li moves, fireball. Well, left hold, right punch, lightning kick, 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 helicopter kick, down hold, up kick. Huh, cool. It's hypnotizing. Hypnotize. Hypnotize. Hey, it's the... It's the tape for the uh, case that we had over there. Hey, what the hell? Fuck you. Screw you, tape. What's this? <gasps> yes. Okay. I know the music is supposed to play a part in this game. Yeah, but uh, I think it's gonna. I think it's like ruining the atmosphere a bit of it. Well, not necessarily ruining the atmosphere a bit. It's just that uh, I kind of want to get like more progress done in this game because I didn't really do that in my last video. Turn this lamp on. Okay, so there's there's a code on here too. Where am I gonna find these codes? Maybe? I don't know. Not challenging this time. Metal Plague. Samantha Greenbrier, 11. Fletcher, 5. Shop 1. Metalworking engraving, C minus. Not challenging this time. Metal. Plaque for port family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mench. That mean just to add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. Well, screw you, Fletcher. The Brother 150. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe the code is 1965. Okay, that's not it. Hmm. 
Okay, so there's three games here. I could be crazy, but... There's the cat there with only a two. One. One, two, one, I'm guessing. Okay, well, I'm a freaking idiot. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god, I figured this out. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's got to be around here somewhere. I mean, you have to have a, like a backup at least, if you're unless you've like memorized the locker combination at the back of your head, like you have on your eyeballs, maybe. Mitten. I'm guessing this is an old dog collar. <gasps> Wait a minute. Damn it! Eighteen eighty eight Dry Creek Road. It's not it either. Six, four, three, one, I'm guessing. I know there's a demon ghost there, so you might as well come out and scare me. <sighs> okay, maybe it's on here. I don't have much to drink, Billy Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? You better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Have some pate. Meow. Gross. Wait a minute. Had that much to drink. Twelve. Okay, so there's a secret diary. Maybe there is. Hang on. Maybe it's under there? No? Okay. Oh, man. Hello? Is there a demon ghost out there that wants to kill me and eat my brains? Samantha, S is for special, A is for adorable, M is for merry, A is for affectionate, N is for nice, T is for thoughtful, H is for honest, A is for admirable. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go uh, fast forward in time a bit, so, uh, I guess so until I figure this out. So, uh, 
Yeah, I honestly can't think of a way to find the combination for this thing, so... So anyway, we're just gonna keep on trucking and see if uh, that goes along. Here, I tried searching the bathroom here. here. There's blood here, basically. Okay. And uh, faucets on. Added. Uh, Lonnie rules there. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, okay, uh, all right. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is, this is in blood. This is, this is wild. This is, uh, hair color. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Huh. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch it on it. Probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Oma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Hey, right, don't barf. Haha, <laughs> alright, see you later. Barf. I like that movie. It was pretty cool. I'm gonna open the doors. So, I know. Oh, uh. Where exactly I'm gonna. Where exactly I've been. Okay, so this is the parents' room. Jesus, it looks like they went out in a hurry. Because of the demon ghost? Hmm. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had down... Uh, at our down periods. It's because of a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the, na in the same house. The kids grow up and they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever is distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this is controlled, this controlled burn. Th that sounds like I right. uh, I fucking I can't read cursive. The uh, adventure. But let's cut to the chase. This new Ranger. They sent that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick, have you you have got to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump, and in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Love, Carol. Okay. Oh, uh, who is con trying to contact me right now? Walt Whitman's collection of poems was first released in its form in 1992, but not before it was banned in grounds of obscenity. He died only two months after its release on March 26, 1892. Seeing, hearing, feeling, and miracles. Point. That kind of sucks to die, like, right after 
Butch Cassidy sends President's men. I know I should probably go find the... I know I should probably go and find the combination for that locker, but I really think I should go and get some way of getting up to the uh, attic. <laughs> I like how uh, she has comments to say on everything. At times. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Yeah, there's something in here. Watercolor technique. Florals and still lives. Bradford Gregory. Are you still water? Alright, colors looking to improve your skills. Eh, okay. Anything else in here? Come on, there's got to be something else in here. Oh, a ghost game. <gasps> Demon ghost! This is where he came from. A few of the shades you may enter as you attempt to escape from Ghost Mansion. Avoid ghosts of Ghost Mansion and make your escape with your wits intact. Why do I have a feeling I'm in a similar situation? Actually, I'm not. What I want to know is what happened to the VCRs around here. That's what I want to know. Because there's tapes laying all around here, but there's no tapes. Dear Mom and Sam, Mom, Dad, and Sam, I am in Chanel. This is my second passage through Chanel. I am on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels. I've been to London before. It is very nice. Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the Chanel. London was great. Dad, I know you've got always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all if you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. I am hearing things in this house. I th am starting to think that there is a demon ghost in here, so I'm probably going to... I want to hold this out a bit. Demon ghost? If you're in here, say something. Because I'd really suck right now if I got scared. Okay, that's bras. Oh man, come on! Oh boy. Open this door. Oh boy. Not entirely sure what to do here. I haven't explored that part of the house yet. What is that? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Something tells me I have to go in there. Well, she's obviously in there. <laughs> so maybe the game will end when I find her. Lonnie! Holy crap! I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. And I found a secret passage.
I see. Good. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? Oh my god, I have to see this. We're skipping sixth. Oh, secret passage. Whoa. Hmm. Captain Allegra and her first mate. That's actually really decent artwork there. Huh. Looks like they were making costumes for it. Heaven's Betty. Nothing can stop me. Ugh. Sorry about that. Performance evaluation. Richard Patterson Smash. Knowledge of Skill. Exemplary. Done, Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Okay, so... Oh, right now... The red lights are on, so Sam is obviously up there. So... Oh, we gotta find some way of opening this attic, because it's locked right now. Maybe there's a key laying around? I don't know. Oh, there's a note here. Wait, hang on. Katie, Mom and Dad, we're going... I'm to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you can... You came home on such short notice that we they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. Oh, what? Come on! Sorry, the game I uh, had going on in the background is was downloading. Screw you, NCSoft! Huh? Oh, God. Oh boy. So, um, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So, thank you all for tuning in to part three of my Let's Play of Gone Home, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye bye!